Hey, Preds Nation, Johnny here. I thought I should take a quick time out from making the top 10 most heartbreaking playoff losses in Preds franchise history to comment on the recent Preds news that has broke over the last couple of days. First, in case you missed it, the Preds did not renew the contract of assistant coach Dan Hynok. I didn't make a video about it at the time of his termination and consideration over who might replace him, but I did make a prediction on social media, specifically Twitter, so you can go back and check that my prediction was right as I take a victory lap on correctly predicting that the Preds would hire Darby Hendrickson to be the new assistant coach of the Predators. The reason why I predicted Darby Hendrickson to be named as the replacement is that they played together, Hendrickson and coach Andrew Burnett, Bruno, played from the 01 season to the 04 season when they were both on Minnesota. So they do have a history. Maybe, just maybe, Hendrickson will be the solution that kicks the power play into gear. Also, today, being Sunday, the Preds announced that they have traded the EGOT, Igor Afanasiev, to San Jose in exchange for Ozzy Westblatt. For anyone who religiously likes to follow the Milwaukee Admirals like I do, you may remember that the San Jose Sharks loaned Westblatt from their farm team, the San Jose Barracuda, to the Milwaukee Admirals late in the season, where he continued to play with the Admirals in the playoffs. Westblatt would record one goal and five assists in the regular season, and then would go on to record two goals and seven assists through 15 playoff games, helping the Admirals reach the Western Conference Finals in the American Hockey League for the second straight season. The Canadian-born Aussie Westblatt was originally drafted by the San Jose Sharks in the first round in 2020 with the 31st pick overall. As for Igor, rumor has it that he was threatening to go and play in the KHL, the Russian Major Hockey League, if the Preds didn't pay him more money and basically guarantee him full-time roster spot with the big club. And since it seemed that Barry could not promise him that at the time and risk losing him for nothing, Trotz did the right thing and at least got something for him. And as for Ozzy, hopefully he'll impress really well in camp and if he does he'll make the roster right out of training camp for opening night and heck if not if he doesn't crack the top 12 forward spots heck he can go to milwaukee fill in in igor's role and hopefully help them in the admirals continue to be well for a third straight season and develop improve himself to one day be a member of the National Predators and wear Predators gold. So just wanted to film and get out this update of the recent Preds news. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like this video. You can find my social media and interact with me now that it's the off season at any time by clicking on a channel name. Tell all your friends about Predemption and stay tuned this week. Very soon I will have out the top 10 most heartbreaking playoff losses in Preds history of all time and later this week and next week there'll be draft news and free agent news hopefully to give us something to look forward to now that it's the offseason.